It is my privilege to introduce to you our 2014 Thomas H. Lake Lecture on Faith and Giving. 25 years ago, I received a phone call from Tom Lake inviting me to become the next Vice President of, for Religion at Lilly Endowment. Broadway United Methodist Church, located right here in Indianapolis, is an integral part of a low-income community, one in which the people often struggle with the difficulties its economic challenges bring. So it comes as quite a surprise when you find on the church's website the following statements of conviction. We believe in extravagant grace, it says. We believe that God loves us all, and nothing we do or don't do can change that. And we believe in abundance. We see abundance. We believe everybody is a child of God with gifts to offer to the world. So we strive to focus on the many diverse gifts of our neighbors and members and not their deficiencies. Broadway Church takes these convictions very, very seriously. It has dis uh, deliberately structured its whole life and ministry in a way that enables them to live out these convictions about extravagant grace and abundance in very practical ways. Once a month, for example, members of the congregation and the church staff invite, uh, have dinner gatherings, and at these dinners, the people come from across all kinds of boundaries, religious, racial, economic, age, educational, you name it. They don't do this in order to get people in the community to come to the church. No, they do this in order that the church can figure out how best to support and to bless what the people in the larger neighborhood are already doing that they understand to be of the Spirit of God. This church and its surrounding parish are entering ever more fully into a way of life in communion with one another that truly is life-giving to everyone. Now, congregations that learn to live this way do so. They innovate. They take their inheritance and they put it into play in surprising new ways. It is uh, not trying to get resources to come in so much as it is uh, taking the gifts that are already there and putting them into play for the sake of the larger community and the larger world of your part and get that motion working. Every faith that understands that is critical. Faith that messes that up is a problem. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so a philanthropy uh, uh, that's built on that same theological conviction that's on Broadway United Methodist website leads to, I think, these kinds of principles.